Zion, manufacturers, saviors. That's where they come from. They don't come from APC. They don't come from PDP. They come. <laughs> Run to ask the Lord and say to Him, "Let us start." Hey, I went to preach in Ghana, and I was on the pulpit. I noticed that there were two people in the auditorium that were sent to destroy me and I like those moments because God will measure the anointing I carry until there's an enemy within sight. You know, as gentle as I look on the pulpit, I was created for war. <laughs> I was wired for war. I have all the weapons to, to administer quick warfare. Weapons in terms of sight, discernment, hearing, authority, power. They are up to date. The, all of the weapons. So when I knew that there were two people in a place to contend, I gave a command. I gave a command. I gave it three times and I stopped. And they were arrested. Their weapons. And whenever I see that, I take I stop teaching. And I use them to teach practical. The guys were on the floor and they said, We will kill you on the floor, on the floor. They were pinned down. They said, we, we, you are dead. You are dead. But they were down. They were down. They were speaking from the ground. I was the only man standing. <laughs> I could see my animal. In order for me to teach the congregation, because whenever I find that situation, I use it to show the congregation how powerless Satan is. So we had a session just to prove to the congregation that there's no power left here. At the end of the day, they were not only delivered, but they spoke in tongues. I was in South Africa, in Johannesburg, and I was preaching the gospel. And a woman stood up and said, I am the serpent from the river of Zimbabwe. The moment she said that, I said, hey! Aigo Salamo. She came under the power. The demons left her and she spoke in tongues. One of them stood out of the congregation and said, You are dead. She didn't finish dead when Holy Ghost took over. <coughs> All power is given unto me. That's what Jesus said. That means there's nothing left to fear. There's nothing left. For you to be afraid of. The gospel in the end time will be preached on the platform of authority and power. And I came to tell you tonight that no weapon formed against you shall be able to prosper. If you are serious, you are no more. He was on the floor, but he said, I will kill you from the floor. You are dead from the floor. You know, can you copy the way I shouted? I said, Hey! I'm assuming I hit it. Taraba states will come under the hand of God. The witchcraft. That operates from Ukari, it will bow before the glory of Jesus. Ah. Oh. 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 I went to preach in Unzimba, Malawi. And when I stood on the pulpit, I had a vision. And I saw a serpent, a red serpent. And I told my 
interpreter. I see the red serpent. And the red serpent is here in the church tonight. He refused to interpret. I came to him. I said, I say, I see the red serpent. And the red serpent is in the church tonight. He refused. <laughs> he refused to interpret. Then I found out much later that the witchcraft court in that village because that's the headquarters of witchcraft. Their nickname is the Red Python. And they gave a decree that nobody should ever mention their name in public or they will kill him. And I said, I was not going to preach again until my interpreter interprets the Red Python. Then, the pastor that invited me when he saw that there was a conflict on the pulpit, he now came and spoke in their language. He said, uh, this man here said, the red python is here. This man. Kayabosi! <laughs> This man, he said, the rabbi, this man, not me, not the interpreter, but this man, he says so. Instantly, 13 ladies in the congregation stood up, tore their clothes and became naked. I mean naked. And were coming to kill me. I assure you, the people we said were possessed in Nigeria is a mild case of possession. It's not serious. I saw people that were possessed. <laughs> and the ladies were running. The crowd was about. This is not a crowd compared to that crowd. It was huge. Because people had come from Zambia. People had come from, uh, what's the name of that country? All the surrounding nations. And we were on the field. They were running. As they were running, the ushers disappeared. There was no usher left on the field. And the cameramen were running to capture. Those were the days where if you wanted to go international, it was Lagos Airport you would use. When I turned back, Muritala Muhammad Airport, Lagos was far. <laughs> and I was taught by the old prophets. They said, when someone empowered with charms and spirits of darkness are running in your direction, they said, don't allow them make all of the journey themselves. Run and meet them. Don't allow them finish the journey. It's too much work. Help them out. Help them out. Help them out. So I jumped from the altar. I jumped to the ground. And as I was going to, they were giving me way. Just like they were giving them way. And people were waiting to see how the collision would take place. When I was on my feet running, it was no longer me. My horn was exalted. I was two meters away. When a force, like a bomb, it blasted. Ooh. And all the ladies were cut off. Some vomited living things. Yes. The whole village gave their life to Christ. No one has ever challenged the power of Nyao. They call them Nyao. 
Senyo. No one. We took people to the river for baptism. You need to see everybody singing. Because Satan was defeated. Satan was cast out. Tonight, Jesus is saying, All power is given unto me. You want to begin a prayer and you want to make your family the focus. That witchcraft manipulation, those things that have been set up against your family, you want to dethrone them tonight. You want to dethrone them tonight. Holy Ghost fire everywhere. Oh, fire.